most of you, though maybe there are some new faces. I'm Jesse Mahoney, and I am a yoga instructor and a mindful life coach. And also I do um, pediatrics and I do physician wellness. And just a heads up tomorrow, I like to just let people know our new podcast is coming out. And this week it's called Mindfulness for All. And the idea is you can do mindfulness anywhere. Anybody can do it anywhere, anytime. And so it's kind of a fun episode to dispel some of the myths about how it might be complicated or hard or um, people from certain backgrounds can engage in it. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. And next week, yoga will be on Sunday at 10. I know that's a better time for some people. So we'll see how that works for next week. And with that, uh, find a comfortable seat on your mat. And as always, do what works for you and opt out of anything that doesn't. It's very hard for me to see you in your little Zoom boxes from far away while teaching yoga. So listen to your body and do what works and what feels comfortable for you. That's a key part of yoga and a key part of living a mindful life. So find something to sit up on if you can. I like to sit on a cork block. I know someone had a conversation about what was good for meditating. This is actually what I meditate on because it helps me ground into the earth and it keeps me sitting upright and my back likes it. But everybody likes something and there is no right way to do it. And so I think we often think that some way is better than another. And in the spirit of mindfulness and yoga for all, there is no way that's better. What's better is what works for you and what helps you find groundedness and comfort. So with that, I invite you to find a comfortable seat, ideally with your hips above your knees, because that will release the hip flexors and give you a little bit more spaciousness. And in spaciousness is where we can find more presence and breath and calm and peace and presence. So ground your sit bones into the earth and adjust yourself. Notice where you find stability and centeredness and groundedness. When you find it, tilt your pelvis forward and grow your spine long and tall towards the sky. Take in a deep inhale. And on the exhale, drop your shoulders, rest your hands lightly on your thighs and allow your sit bones to sink downward into the earth. Take in another deep inhale through your nose and a big exhale. And as you sit for a moment with yourself here in this moment on this Saturday at the end of February, I wanted to reflect a moment on this concept that so many of us struggle with that perhaps we're broken. And it came up in the group last night. And this idea that I think is maybe universal, that at some point we all look at ourselves and wonder if we're broken and are we more broken than others, less broken? What might happen if someone discovers that we're broken? And I wanted to offer this idea that perhaps it's possible that each of us is not any more broken than anyone else. And perhaps each of us is not even broken at all. And perhaps broken is not broken. There's this, um, the Japanese pottery where things break and they're mended with gold and they are more beautiful when they're broken and more beautiful when they're mended with the gold seal. There's this other concept that cracks let the light in. And so perhaps the brokenness, whether it be within you or in a relationship or in the world, perhaps that is the world. Perhaps that is its strength and its beauty. And perhaps that's how the sun comes in. I'm very much a sun light person. And so this idea that the cracks or the brokenness is what lets the light in and lets the sun in and lets the new growth in. 
knowing that new growth in the springtime is messy. It's not a clean change, process of change. And when a caterpillar in a cocoon becomes a butterfly, once again, not a clean process of change. And yet we don't look at those things and say that they're broken. But we think of ourselves that way. So I want to offer in this moment of, at least where I am, hopes of spring coming out, this idea of new growth and not coming from a place of broken, coming from a place of beauty and change and perhaps different seasons. Taking a deep breath into that tiny nook behind your heart of compassion there. And an exhale. Is it possible that messy is not broken? Is it possible that needing help is not broken? Is it possible that fear does not mean something is broken? One of my favorite books I share from often, the, bo the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. When have you been at your strongest, asked the boy, when I have dared to show my weakness? Asking for help isn't giving up, said the horse. It's refusing to give up. And sometimes I worry that you'll all realize I'm ordinary, said the boy. Love doesn't need you to be extraordinary, said the mole. Once again, back to this idea that perhaps just as we are, broken, imperfect, cracked, repaired is exactly how we're supposed to be. And perhaps that is our strongest. So today I offer to notice where you may have once thought you were broken. Can you find strength there? Take in a deep breath through your nose once again and a big out breath. And bring your left hand to your heart. Press gently into that space. Perhaps imperfect, perhaps with some old cracks, perhaps repaired, perhaps healing or growing. Take your right hand and place it atop the left hand and press in gently, sending spaciousness and kindness to that pocket behind your heart. Send your attention there. Take a deep inhale once again. And an exhale. Bring your hands to heart center. Place your palms together. Connect each finger pad. Notice the connection. Press your thumbs into your sternum. Notice that connection into the heart space your heart just as it is. Is there a little more space there? Take in a deep inhale through your nose and an exhale. And another deep inhale and an exhale. In this next hour, can you draw your attention to create space, to let the light in, to notice the cracks and the mess without judgment, and perhaps see the strength in those cracks, and see the strength and the spaciousness in the fear and the mess and all of it. Take one final deep inhale and an exhale. And lower your hands to your thighs. Open your eyes slowly, let the light in. Shrug your shoulders up to your ears, scrunch them up. Draw your scapula back together, shoulders back, and allow your shoulders to drop. Just notice the letting go. Inhale both arms up towards the sky, palms face one another. 
Ground your sit bones downward, reach your fingertips up. Exhale, drop your right hand, ground it into the earth, ground your left hip, reach those left fingertips gently towards the right. Just a soft opening and a stretch on the left side body. Inhale and exhale. Another deep inhale and exhale. Press into your right hand, reach both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, drop your left hand, ground it into the earth. Right hip grounds downward, right fingertips reach gently towards the left. Breathe into the right side body. And exhale, let it go. One more nourishing deep breath. Let the light into all the cracks and let it go. Press into your left hand, reach both hands up towards the sky. Take your fingers, clasp them together, flip your palms up towards the sky. Gently shimmy your elbows behind your ears. Inhale, reach tall, fill up with air. Exhale, round, suck your navel and your spine towards the back of your mat. Allow your head and neck to release towards the front. Inhale, reach your fingertips up towards the sky, slight arch, palms face the ceiling. Exhale, round into seated cat. Enjoy the movement here. Inhale, slight arch, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, round into a final seated cat here. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, allow your arms to release and press open towards the side of the wall or the mat. Palms face the side walls, wrists flex, fingertips reach towards the sky. Take a moment and adjust your shoulders and your neck. And if you have a tight neck, just notice, send love and attention to any areas that are tight. Press those palms into the sidewall, engage all the muscles and just notice how things feel here. Deep inhale. And an exhale. Once again, an inhale. And an exhale. Wrap that right arm under the left in front of you. Come into eagle arms. Take your thumbs, clasp them together. Palms can face one another if that works for you. Whatever works for your body. Inhale, lift your elbows up to shoulder height and exhale, pause for a moment. Inhale, lift them up an inch higher. Exhale, allow your elbows to come into your chest and your head and neck to release into the cradle of your arms. One deep breath here into the back body between the scapula. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, raise your elbows up to shoulder height, head and crown of the, crown of the head, reach just towards the sky. Exhale, untangle your arms, extend your hands wide towards the side. Inhale here with the palms pressed into the side wall. Exhale, wrap your arms in the opposite direction. Left arm under the right, thumbs come together, palms come together, whatever works for you. Inhale your elbows up to shoulder height. Exhale, pause here. Inhale once again. Exhale, allow your elbows to drop into your chest, head and neck release into the cradle of your arms. Deep nourishing breath into the space between the scapula and let everything go. Inhale, rise up, crown of the head reaches towards the sky, elbows come to shoulder height. Exhale, release your arms out towards the side wall. Wrists flex, palms press into the side wall with intention. Lower your arms towards your side gently. Roll your shoulders back three times. Notice and enjoy. And roll your shoulders forward three times and notice and enjoy. Take the block out from underneath you or whatever you're sitting on, bolster or pillow, whatever works. And move the flesh of your seat out of the way. You're gonna rock side to side on those sit bones till you feel your sit bones ground into the earth underneath you. Knees will be relaxed, almost straight, but with a gentle bend, don't force anything. Toes flexed towards your nose, ankles flexed. 
Your spine is straight and hinged at the hips slightly, chest puffs out in front. Take your hands, bring them behind you. Tend your fingertips into the earth. Press your knees towards the floor and your chest out towards the front. Come into Dandasana or Staff Pose. Notice your strength here. Inhale deeply into that space behind the heart. Fill it up with light and air and healing and let it go. Another inhale, every muscle engaged, fingertips press into the earth, chest puffs out. Fill up the whole chest space here and let it go. Relax everything. Take your right knee, bend it in towards your chest. Your right foot, sole of the foot will be on the earth alongside your knee, left knee to start. Rock side to side on your hips. Once again, to even yourself out. Give that right knee a nice hug with your hands on the shin. You're gonna take your left hand, grab the outer edge of your right foot and extend your right leg long up in the air. You'll notice a nice stretch in the IT band on the outer edge of the right leg. Take your right hand, tent it behind you, press those fingertips into the earth, straight the elbow, press the sole of the foot into your fingers and notice that lovely stretch in the whole right side of the leg. If you wish, you can turn your gaze towards your right hand behind you. Inhale here into those pockets in the chest that open up when you do the twist and exhale, let it go. One more inhale and exhale, let it go. Release the right hand, twist back to center. You can take your right hand, put it behind your knee, release your left hand, bend your right foot, lower it towards the earth and straighten it out long in front of you. Once again, rock side to side on your sit bones, ground them into the earth. Bend the left knee, sole of the foot, comes alongside the right knee. Take your hands, grab your shin, hug it in towards you. Notice a little release in the hips. Rock side to side here and enjoy it. Play with it for a moment. Take your right hand, grab the outer edge of your left foot. Straight that left leg up in the air. Notice a lovely stretch in the outer edge of the left leg. And just enjoy it. Don't overdo it. So if you can't straighten all the way, that's fine. If you wish to intensify the stretch, take your left hand, tend it behind you, straight the elbow, reach the crown of your head towards the sky. And if you wish to go further, twist gently and look behind you towards the left. Two deep breaths here, wherever you are. One more. Turn back to center, take your left hand, place it behind your left knee, bend your knee, replace your foot on the earth, extend your leg long in front of you. Once again, rock side to side on those sit bones. Take your hands, bring them both behind you, fingertips face the back of the mat, palms ground into the earth. Place the soles of your feet onto the earth. We're gonna come into a reverse table. So walk your hands back another hand print or so once your feet are grounded into the earth. You're gonna press into your feet, lift your hips up, reach them up towards the sky. You'll notice a stretch in the front of the shoulders. You can keep your head up if that works for your neck. Figure out what works for you or release your head and neck back down towards the earth and notice the release in the back of the shoulders. Hips reach up towards the sky. Reverse table here. Enjoy all the sensations and just notice them. Deep inhale into the chest and huge exhale. One more breath here. On the exhale, slowly lower your hips down towards the earth. Release your legs, release your hands, and we'll flip over and come forward into hands and knees, tabletop. So hands directly under your shoulders, knees directly under your hips, tops of the feet ground into the earth. Take a moment here and find your strength in your center. Deep inhale into that pocket behind the heart, the pocket that sometimes thinks things are broken, but maybe they're not. 
Just allow that possibility. Another deep inhale into that pocket. And on the exhale, sink your hips back straight into child's pose. You can leave your knees um, together if you wish, or if it works better for you, you can do knees apart, toes together. Walk your fingertips long in front of you here and allow your head and neck to release towards the earth. Two deep breaths here in child's pose, long, sweet ones. Notice the stretch through the shoulders. One more deep, long inhale here. Shift back forward into hands and knees. Walk your hands forward, a handprint. Curl your toes and shoot those hips up towards the sky. Come straight into downward dog. Pedal out your feet, walk the dog as we say. Enjoy all the sensations, all the kinks, pops, things waking up for those of you in California or East uh, Pacific time. Ground both hands into the earth, straight your arms. Press your hips back and up towards the back wall. Huge stretch in the spine. Downward dog is a spine stretch. Lift up onto your tiptoes, heels reach as high as you can and slowly lower them towards the earth. Notice the sensations here and just enjoy them. Bend your left knee, straight your right, press your right heel into the earth. Lots of sensations, but nothing is wrong. Bend the right knee, straight the left, press the heel into the earth. Huge deep inhale here and a big long exhale. Rise up once again onto both tiptoes, even things out. Slowly lower your heels towards the earth and gently walk your hands back towards your feet. Come into an easy forward fold with kindness. Your knees bent gently, ground both feet into the earth. Take your hands, grasp your elbows, and allow your head and neck to release here. Just sway, shift your weight into your toes, to your heels gently, to the right, to the left. Enjoy all the sensations. Release your elbows, re-clasp your hands at your sacrum. Straight your elbows, shoot your fix, fists back towards the back wall. Exhale, allow your fists to fall towards the front of the mat and the head and neck to release. Notice how luxurious this feels. And yet it's a bit messy. You're upside down. Breathe into the front of the shoulders, into the scapula area. Bend the left knee, straight the right, twist over towards the right. Deep breath into that pocket behind the heart that opens up here. Bend the right knee, straight the left, twist towards the left. Enjoy the sensations in the left leg, into the front of the shoulders, breathe into it. Breathe into that tiny pocket that pops open here. Sending love, compassion for the mess, the fear, the doubt, all of it. Perhaps that's all of the beauty, the beauty and the mess, as we say. Shift back to center. Allow your hands to fall another inch or so forward towards the front of the mat. Huge release in the shoulder. We carry so much tension there. Just loosen it, nudge it loose a little bit. Is it possible to let a tiny bit more go? Bring your hands back to your sacrum. Gently let them roll down the back of your thighs. Gently, gently and engage your belly, slowly roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae, really slowly here, because we've been down upside down for quite a bit. Take your time, move in a nourishing way. Draw your shoulder blades up towards your ears, <clears throat> draw them back towards the back of the mat, pinch them together. Notice how good that feels. 
and allow your shoulders to fall towards the front of the mat, palms open, Tadasana or mountain pose. Lift up all 10 toes and ground deeply into the earth below. Draw up its strength and energy through you, straight through your hips, through your spine, to the crown of your head, and allow your shoulders to drop. Deep breath into that space behind the heart. Is it possible just as you are, you're not any more broken than anybody else? What if that's your strength? Our imperfections are our strength. Our weaknesses are our strengths. What if we saw them, honored them, appreciated them, and used them to help us move forward, knowing we would be okay? Inhale your arms out and up towards the sky, palms together, slight arch back, fold forward, forward fold. Inhale for a half lift, spine straight, crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, forward fold. Once again, inhale for a half lift. Enjoy the straight leg, straight back, sit bones reach back towards the back wall. Exhale, release, and let it go. Walk your hands forward. Come back into downward dog. Take a moment here. Ground downward into the earth. Focus your gaze or your drishti on a spot a foot or two in front of your feet. By its stillness. Shift your weight forward, come into plank or top of the push-up and pause here for a moment. Find your strength and stillness here. Send that breath to that tiny pocket behind the heart. Create a little bit more space for diastole, a little bit, bit more space for being okay. Shift forward onto your tiptoes, bend your knees, Uncurl your toes, bend your elbows, slowly lower down chaturanga towards the earth. Your forehead rests on the floor. Weight is out of your hands. Ground your third eye or your forehead into the floor for a moment. Ground your hip bones into the earth. Ground the top of the feet into the earth. Weight is out of the hands. Inhale, rise up for a little cobra. Heart shines forward, crown of the head reaches towards the sky. Hip bones press downward into the earth. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, low cobra once again. Crown of the head reaches towards the sky. Heart shines forward. Exhale, lower down. Curl your toes, press into your hands, shoot your hips back and up, come back to downward dog. Press into your hands, your sit bones reach up and back once again. Lower your heels gently towards the earth. Notice all the feels there. Huge inhale. And a huge lion's breath, exhale, let everything go. Raise your right leg up towards the sky. Heel presses into the back wall. Every muscle engaged, hips are square towards the floor, three-legged dog. Everything engaged, you're strong here. Exhale, gently bring your foot between your hands. Come into a high lunge here. So, a nice runway between your feet, both toes face front. Inhale, both arms directly up towards the sky. Exhale, sink into the front knee. You're gonna bend the front knee. Wiggle the right toes farther forward if your ankle, your ankle needs to be in front of your knee and both arms need to reach towards the sky. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, sink a little bit lower into the hips. You'll notice a lovely release in the front of the left hip. 
Inhale, reach your fingertips long. Exhale, lower your arms out towards the side. Reclasp them at your sacrum. Straight your fists towards the earth. Elbows straighten, chest puffs forward, shoulders down and back. Inhale deeply into that chest space. Fill it up. Exhale, sink a little bit lower. Notice you can do this here, even in this balanced pose. Inhale into the front of the left hip, into the chest space, fill it up. Exhale, let it go. Release your hands, raise them up towards the sky. Exhale, sink. Take your right arm, circle it backwards and down towards your hip and out in front of you. Just a huge circle in the right arm. Left arm still reaches towards the sky. Three big circles here. Notice what happens in the hips. Keep your hips face forward. Bring both arms back up towards the sky. Pause. Square your hips towards the front. Straight that front knee. Both knees come up straight. Exhale, come back into a high lunge. Inhale, straight your front knee, come into like a high triangle. Exhale, sink back into the lunge. Once again, inhale, straight the front knee, fingers reach tall towards the sky. Exhale, back into the lunge. Turn your right foot. We're gonna come into warrior two here. Cartwheel your arms open, turn your right foot. So it's pigeon toed. Left foot, sorry, right foot reaches towards the front. Sink into that right knee. Arms open up in either direction. Warrior two here. Take a moment, make sure you're in, we call it heel to heel alignment. So right heel lines up with the left heel, arms reach in either direction. Drishti is over your right middle finger. Inhale, your spine grows long and tall towards the sky. Exhale, sink down into warrior two. Take a moment and get your feet feeling right. Inhale, breathe deeply into the chest. Fill yourself up with air and strength. Exhale, let it go. Bend your right forearm, rest it gently on your right thigh. Reach your left arm over your left ear, come into side angle pose. Stretch from the outer edge of the left foot all the way through the left fingertips. Long, long left side body. Deep inhale into the left chest. And exhale, let it go. Once again, deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. Rise back up to warrior two. Drop your left hand down your left thigh, right arm comes up and over, come into reverse warrior or peaceful warrior. Left hand reaches down the left leg. Right arm reaches back over towards the crease between the ceiling and the back wall. Huge breath into the right front chest. And let it go, one more deep breath here. Exhale, come back to warrior two. Cartwheel your hands back down on either side of your right foot and step back to downward dog and pause here. Pedal your feet out. Bend your right knee, straight the left. Bend the left knee, straight the right. Just notice all the sensations here. Ground both hands equally into the earth, arms straight and strong. Straight both legs, lift up both heels towards the sky. Slowly lower them down equally. Inhale, raise your left leg towards the sky, hips square, press that heel into the back wall. Three-legged dog, everything strong and engaged here and powerful. Just as you are, however your body works, still strong, still powerful. Exhale gently, bring that left leg between your hands and come into a high lunge on the side. Both toes face towards the front of the mat. You can widen your stance if you need to for balance. Ground your feet into the earth. Raise both arms up 
towards the sky. Sink into those hips. Make sure your left knee does not extend beyond your left ankle. Inhale, lengthen your torso, crown of the head towards the sky. Exhale, sink a little lower, bend that front knee. Inhale, reach your fingertips long towards the sky. Exhale, sink a teensy bit lower. Once again, reach long and tall. Exhale, sink into it. Inhale, fingertips long and tall. Exhale, reclasp your hands at your sacrum behind you. Shoot your fist towards the earth, straight your elbows, puff your chest out in front. Three long, deep breaths here. Ground your feet into the earth for strength. Draw the breath into that space behind the heart. Open it up, make room. Create space to think about new possibilities. Inhale deeply. Exhale, let it go. Once again, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Release your hands, raise them up towards the sky. Right hand stays towards the sky. Left hand comes towards circles backwards three times, three big circles. Notice the feelings in the front of the left hip. Reach both arms up towards the sky. Straight that front knee, back knee straight. You come into an upright triangle. Exhale, bend back into the lunge. Inhale, straight both legs. Exhale, sink into the lunge. One more here. Inhale, straight both legs. Notice any wobbles and let them be. Exhale, sink down into the high lunge once again. Drop your right heel towards the earth. Open your arms, curve it open to warrior two from here. Inhale, your torso reaches long and tall towards the sky. Exhale, sink into that front knee, come into warrior two. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, sink into warrior two. Gaze is over the left middle finger. Arms extend long in either direction. Legs are strong and powerful. Adjust your feet if they feel not quite right. Make sure you're comfortable. Heel to heel alignment. Bend your left elbow, rest your left forearm lightly on your left knee. Reach your right arm over your right ear long in front of you, side angle pose. Ground from the outer edge of the right foot through the whole right side body. Reach long through your fingertips and enjoy a full stretch on the right side body. Two more long deep breaths here. Inhale, cartwheel back up to warrior two. Drop your right hand down your right thigh. Reach your left fingertips towards the crease between the ceiling and the wall. Come into reverse warrior or peaceful warrior here. Inhale into the front left chest to open up every nook and cranny there. Exhale, let it go. All the old stuck beliefs, worries, fears. Inhale into all those tiny little alveoli and chest pockets. Exhale, let it go. Cartwheel the arms back up to warrior two. Lower your arms to either side of your foot. Step back directly to downward dog. Bend your knees, bring your knees out, toes together. Press your hips back and come into child's pose to rest. Walk your fingertips long in front of you. Hips sink down and low towards your heels. Forehead, if it can, grounds into the earth. Three more long deep breaths here. Go inward. And just notice how you feel.
Is it possible that your cracks are your strength? That in the mess is the beauty and the strength and the answers and the path forward. Maybe none of it's a problem. Slowly press yourself back up to a seat. Bring your knees around one side, drop your hips towards the earth, walk your feet long in front of you. <clears throat> Rock side to side on those sit bones once again. Ground them into the earth, knees gently bent, toes flexed up towards your nose. Inhale both arms up towards the sky. Engage your belly here. Make sure you're using your core and moving with intention. Exhale, gently fold forward. Come into an easy forward fold and allow your head and neck to release here. You can keep your knees as bent as you like to have a lovely release in the back. Head and neck fall forward. Inhale into the back body. Exhale, let it go. Once again, inhale deeply here. Exhale, let it go. Walk your hands up your knees, thighs, torso reaches up towards the sky. Once again, take your right knee, bend it in, give it a nice hug, draw it in towards your belly. Take your hands, place them on your shin, pick up that right foot and cross it across the left knee to the opposite side. Rock side to side on your hips. Release your hands up towards the sky. Engage your belly. Left toes flexed up towards the sky. Twist towards the right using your belly. Draw your right hand behind you. Take your left hand, grab your right knee and hug it and twist towards the right. Inhale, lengthen your torso and your spine towards the sky. Exhale, twist towards the right. Inhale, lengthen, straight that right arm behind you, tense your fingers. Exhale, let things go. Inhale, softness, spaciousness. And exhale, ring it out. Gently twist back to center. Take your hands, grab the shin, pick it up. Bring your foot to the right, back to the right side. Extend your leg long in front of you. Rock side to side on your hips, ground downward once again. Get yourself set up for success. Take your hands, help that left knee draw in towards you. Give it a nice hug hands on the shin, ground those hips into the earth. Pick up the left shin, bring the left foot to the outer edge of the right knee. Reorganize your hips, release the shin, inhale both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, twist around your central core towards the left, drop your left fingertips behind you, right hand grabs the left knee, inhale, reach your spine towards the sky. And exhale, twist gently to the left. Just enjoy it. Don't overdo it. Just notice what's happening. Inhale, reach towards the sky. Exhale, ring it out. Let things go. Once again, inhale, stretch towards the sky. Lengthen your torso and your spine. Exhale, let it go. Release your body. Twist back to center. Take your left hand, bring it to the left knee. Do an easy counter twist towards the right. Left hand stays on the left shin. Right hand drops behind you towards the right. Twist towards the right just to undo things. Come back to center. Take both hands. Pick up the left shin. Pick up the left foot. Place it back on the earth alongside the right knee. And extend your leg long. Even yourself out here once again. 
We will flex our toes, bend your knees, arms reach long in front of you, engage your belly and slowly roll yourself back vertebrae by vertebrae until you end up lying on the mat. Take your time. Allow your palms to open towards the sky, toes open towards the side edges of the mat. Take a moment to notice what is connecting into the earth beneath you and enjoy it. Huge inhale into the chest space and big, long, sweet exhale. Another deep, long inhale. Big exhale. Bend your knees, soles of the feet on the earth, walk your heels towards your sit bones, flip your palms over. Wiggle those fingers so they come close to your heels, press into your heels, press into your hands and reach your hips up towards the sky. Shimmy your shoulders underneath you. Come into a strong bridge pose. Knees connect energetically. You can take your hands and clasp them together underneath you or grab the outer edges of your mat and tug your mat forward towards your heels. Chest opens towards the sky and your heart is light in the chest. Buttocks are engaged, sit bones reach towards the sky. Take your time with this pose here today. Inhale deeply into all those pockets of the chest and let it go. Notice in this position, if you notice any more fear or anxiety, what might pop up, the what ifs, send the breath there and let them go. Notice that they're there, always there, keeping you safe, checking in. And maybe you're okay anyway. One more. Lift your hips up towards the sky. Notice any shaking. Slowly untuck your shoulders and on the exhale, lower your hips down towards the earth, inch by inch by inch. When you arrive, pause here. Untuck your shoulders and allow yourself to reconnect into the earth. Breathe into that chest space deeply. Fill it up. And exhale long and slow. One more deep inhale. Notice your sacrum ground into the earth beneath you. Exhale, let it go. Take your right foot, place your ankle on the left knee. Take your hands between your legs, thread the needle as we say here, grab the back of the left thigh. Draw the left thigh in towards you. Come into figure four pose. Both feet should be flexed towards the sky. And you take your right elbow, press it gently into the right knee. You should have a nice release in the right outer thigh. If you wish, you can move your hands to the front of the left shin. Breathe into that right outer hip and enjoy this for a few moments. Toes, feet, uh, ankles should be flexed. Toes flexed to protect your knee. Notice all the sensations. Notice your heart slow. Keep your hand wherever, hands wherever they work for you. Back of the thigh is equally good as the shin. Nothing is better than the other. Right elbow presses into the right knee. One more long, deep breath here. Straight your left leg. Reach your heel towards the sky. Toes flex towards your nose. Point your toes. Flex your toes towards your nose. Notice the stretch and the fascial twinging in the left leg. Point your toe towards the sky. 
flex your toe towards your nose. Point your toe towards the sky and flex your toe towards your nose. Bend that left knee, come back to figure four. Release your hands from your thigh, bring them above you in an easy cactus shape. We're gonna twist towards the left, coming into a figure four twist. Right sole of the foot is going to land on the floor on the left side. Left outer edge of the thigh is going to connect with the earth and the left knee will relax towards the left. You'll notice a lovely stretch in the right hip, right waist. Gaze to start is straight up towards the sky. If you wish, you can turn your gaze towards the right. Notice all the sensations in the right side body and enjoy them. Huge breaths to fill the chest. And just ponder this thought. What if you are not broken? Not ever. Just you. Like that beautiful Japanese pottery. The cracks make you stronger. The cracks let the light in. The cracks are what let the sunshine in. And might this be true for relationships too? Our minds tell us things should be easy and go well. But maybe that's not it. Gently turn your gaze back to center. Bring your knees back to center. Take your right foot, return it to the earth alongside the left. Even out your hips, re-square them. Take your left ankle, bring it to the right knee. Bring your hands back towards your sides, thread them through your legs and draw the right thigh in towards you. Come into a figure four stretch on this side. Once again, flex both ankles, toes flex towards the sky. Left elbow presses into the left knee. You should enjoy a lovely stretch in the left outer hip. If you wish, you can take your hands, draw them around your shin and hug that right leg in for more of a stretch, whatever feels right for you. Nothing is better or worse. Make sure you're comfortable. Make sure your feet are flexed to protect the knees. Two more long breaths into that right, left outer hip. Knowing we carry lots of questions, lots of doubt, lots of energy in our hips. You use the breath to let it go. Notice that letting it go can be enjoyable. Release your hands from your shin. Bring them back to your thigh if they're not there already. Extend your right leg so your heel presses towards the sky, toes flex towards your nose. Leg is long, strong, engaged. Point the left toe, right toe, sorry, towards the sky. Flex your toe towards your nose. Point your toe towards the sky. Enjoy all the sensations. Point, flex your toe towards your nose. Point your toe once again towards the sky. Enjoy the sensations in the fascia. Notice it's letting you know it's there. Flex your toes towards your nose. Bend your right knee once again. Release your hands from behind your thighs. Engage your belly as you do this. Raise your arms gently above you in an easy cactus shape. Twist gently towards the right. Left sole of the foot lands on the earth. Outer right thigh lands on the earth. Right knee connects towards the earth. A lovely stretch through the left hip waist area. 
Inhale. And if you wish on the exhale, gaze towards the left. Huge inhale into the chest space here. Notice if any questions pop up. Can you just notice them, see them, but not judge yourself? Not try to fix, not try to solve. Just enjoy. Be here in this moment. Bring your gaze back to center. Draw your knees back to center. Uncross your knees, lower your feet towards the earth. Bring your hands back alongside you. Walk your, your heels towards your buttocks. Once again, fingertips reach towards the heels. Ground your feet into the earth and reach your hips up towards the sky. Once again, coming into bridge pose. Shimmy the shoulders underneath you. Take your hands, grab the outer edges of your mat and tug your mat towards your heels. Open your chest. Allow the heart to hang easy and light in the chest space. Hips reach skyward, knees connect energetically. Engage the whole back body. Gently release your hands, untuck your shoulders, slowly lower your buttocks towards the earth. Draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself an easy hug. Wrap your arms around your shins. Rock side to side. Massage your lower back. Take your hands to the outer edges of your feet. Come into happy baby. Soles of the feet reach towards the sky. Knees press towards the earth. Rock side to side. Enjoy it. Bring the soles of your feet together. Draw your heels in towards your groin. Enjoy the inner thigh stretch for a moment. Deep inhale into that chest space here. On the exhale, release your hands, release the air. Slowly allow your feet to lower towards the earth. Come into Supta Baddha Konasana or reclining butterfly. Bring your left hand to your heart space, right hand to your belly. Allow your knees to relax outward. Five long, deep breaths here, allowing everything to slow. Noticing how you feel. Enjoy it. Notice once again, if the mind wanders to something that's not right, something that needs to be fixed and see if you can just let it go. Attach it to a balloon and let it fly off for right now. Take your hands to the outer edges of your thighs. Gently draw your knees together. Extend your legs long in front of you and allow your toes to fall towards the outer edge of the mat. Flip your palms open towards the sky and come into Shavasana or final resting pose. A few moments to be exactly as you are. Perhaps to let the light shine in directly into your heart and your chest space. Let the light come in through all the cracks right here. Let the light 
the Earth's energy draw up through you, through the back of your head, through your sacrum, through your heels, whatever is connecting to the Earth underneath. Draw its energy up into you. Let the light come in from above. Take a few moments here just to be, just to enjoy. Let the earth hold you. Let your body breathe itself. Gently begin to deepen your breath. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Take a deep inhale, reach your fingertips long above you and your toes long in front of you. Fill yourself up with nourishing air. And exhale, let it go. Draw your knees into your chest and gently roll towards one side. And pause there for a moment. Take a moment to thank the part of you that chose to come today, to spend some time nourishing you, taking care of you, allowing the light in, allowing yourself to be exactly as you are. Press into your hands and slowly come up to a seat where we began. You can sit up on something if you like. As you arrive, close your eyes once again if you're comfortable ground into the strength of the earth below. Tilt your pelvis forward and grow your spine long and tall towards the sky. Crown of the head reaches skyward. Exhale, drop your shoulders and rest your hands on your thighs. Take a deep inhale into your chest and a huge exhale. Bring your hands to heart center, palms together, finger pads touch, thumbs press into your sternum and elbows out wide. May you all be well. May you all be safe. May you all be loved. And may you all spend a little bit of time this week believing that you're not broken, that perhaps we're all broken, and in that way, none of us are broken. We just are. That the cracks make us more beautiful. They make us stronger. They can be filled with gold. And if nothing else, they let the light in.
Have a beautiful week. Namaste.